Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to be talking about radiocarbon dating and I'm going to go over a couple of problems where you can use radiocarbon dating to figure out uh, the ages of things and how long it's been alive or been dead or things like that. Um, so <clears throat> first thing is um, we're going to be using first order rate laws. We're, we're talking about the decay of carbon-14. And so here is an example problem of where we can use that decay and figure out uh, how old something is. Um, so here, the assumption, here we have a skull. We want to know how old this skull is. It has a carbon-14 decay rate of 4.50 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon. Uh, if living thing, living organisms right now have a decay rate of 15.3 disintegrations per minute per gram carbon, then how old is the skull? And so we're assuming here a decay rate is directly proportional to the amount of carbon-14 you have. That's going to be important because that means that the uh, first order rate law that we used before that was relating, for example, um, the amount of our substance at time t over the amount of our substance that we initially started with, this equation we can replace with the rates since they're directly proportional. If the amount is proportional or directly proportional to the rate, then we can substitute in the rates for the amounts. So we can use this equation here. So this particular problem is going to have two steps. The first step is we're going to plug in the half-life here to find our rate constant. Once we find the rate constant, we can plug it in here, and then we can put the rates in that we have here, and we can solve for t, which is going to be the time or the age of the skull. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the half-life is 5,715 years, that's going to be equal to 0 0.693 over k, we solve for k, then we get uh, 1.213, it's going to be 1.213 times 10 to the negative, I want to say 4, negative 4, so negative 4 per year. So that's k. So now we can take k and plug it into here. So and we can plug in the rates. So here we're going to have ln of rate at time t. So that's going to be here. So 4.50. So that's going to be 4.50. Let me just double check, make sure I got this right. So 4.4.50 uh, disintegration. So this is what it is right now for the skull. Here's what it presently is right now for living things. So how long did it take to go from here to here? So this is at time t. And so uh, what is it initially, like right now, 15.3. So the ln, and that's going to be equal to negative k, which is right here, 1.213 times 10 to the negative 4 per year times t. And we're going to solve for t. When you solve for t, you get t is equal to 1.0, 1.0, 0 times 10 to the 4 or say, is that years? Yes, years. Years. So that is the age of the skull according to radiocarbon dating. Okay, so let's do a second problem. Okay, so let us do a second problem. So here, problem number two, a researcher claims an ancient scroll originated from Greek scholars at about 500 BC. So right now it's C14 decay rate is 89% of that found in living things. Uh, so in living organisms, 
how old is the skull right now? So, okay. So two steps again. Uh, since we're doing carbon 14 again, we don't need to solve for K because we just did that in the second problem. So K is going to be the same. It's going to be 1.213 times 10 to the negative 4 per year. And so uh, now all we need to do is plug that in here, but we need to figure out what the ratio of the rate at time t uh, versus the rate at uh, rate at time zero at rate uh, at the beginning, the initial rate. So the assumption is always uh, that the initial rate that we have today is the same and it's constant in the past. So whatever the rate is now, uh, that must have been the rate back then. And so that is one of the working assumptions when we're doing these problems. Uh, so rate t is today for the, for the object that we're interested in. So again, rate at t right now is going to be the time, the age of the, the thing uh, from the time it died, because when it died, its carbon-14 decay rate was the same back then, right, when, as they are today for t living things today. But um, since it's died, it's, it's, it's not picking up any more carbon, and so the carbon-14 is decaying and decaying so less and less and less, and so the decay rate is going to be less later on. And so we could use that comparison to figure out how old it is, right? So since we have a rate, since we have a percentage, we can put that as a ratio. So, point eight, uh, so 89 percent is 89 out of 100. So that would be the same as uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.89 out of, uh, out of 1, right? So we could do that. So we could just do ln of 89 out of 100. So it's 89% of what it was before. So before, at rate at time 0, it was at 100. But right now, after time has passed since it's died, it's now down to 89% the, the rate compared to 100. So then we set that equal to negative k. k is here, 1.213 times 10 to the negative 4 per year, multiplied by t. And now all we need to do is solve for t. OK, and so we calculate that out to be 961 years. So 961 years old. So right now, the year is 2021. So obviously, if we take about, this would be uh, around, say, the 1100s. So definitely not 500 BC. So the scroll is not authentic. So that's how it works. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my videos, please like, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, write a comment in the comment section. And thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.